You know, Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields says the criminal charges that are placed against the six APD officers have a whiff of election year politics. This is what she's saying. She said this in a letter sent to the Atlanta police staff last night. So the officer facing charges right now, ranging from assault to criminal trespass, following a confrontation with a pair of, of Atlanta college students Saturday night. With the DA who was filing the charges, Paul Howard, faces voters Tuesday. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more. The evidence behind the charges against six Atlanta police officers is rooted in body cam footage shot Saturday. The six officers confront two young motorists, use tasers on them, and then pull them out roughly from their car downtown, without justification, according to investigators. You know, why are we doing this today? District Attorney Paul Howard says Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields first called attention to the rough treatment seen on the body cam footage. Howard saw the video and filed charges against the officers after Shields had fired two of them. But Shields told her staff in a memo that criminal charges were never part of any discussion. She also told them other police agencies are now withdrawing assistance to Atlanta police for their coverage of protests because they are not comfortable with their employees being leveraged politically by the potential of also facing criminal charges. Howard faces a tough re-election challenge from Fonnie Willis, who worked for Howard and helped prosecute the Atlanta school's cheating case. Willis thinks Howard filed the charges this week to win votes next week. The officers may indeed, when I am the district attorney, be charged, but they will be charged after an investigation. But Howard told us today it was not political. It was the right thing to do. And that the seven different body cam images of that incident Saturday made the evidence more than sufficient to charge the officers now. All right, Doug, thanks a lot. You know, we're also hearing from the legal team representing the two officers who were fired. In a statement, they say the officers were fired before being interviewed by the Office of Professional Standards, which they claim is in direct violation of both department policies and the law. You can read their full statement on our website, 11alive.com.